Your next plant is number 76 on your list. This is Cryptomeria uh, japonica, the Japanese cedar. This is one of my favorite conifers, and we actually don't grow a whole lot of it on the West Coast because there are so many uh, other options, but in the Southeast, uh, southeastern United States where we don't have quite the, uh, the diversity of conifers that are available, this one is, <clears throat> is uh, uh, pretty, uh, pretty common in the, in the industry. So uh, Cryptomeria japonica, as, we're, uh, uh, and op as opposed to what we just talked about in Juniperus scapulorum with its tiny scale-like leaves, uh, this guy uh, is exclusively has these all-shaped leaves, and they're of various sizes. There are lots and lots of different cultivars of Cryptomeria japonica out there. I happen to be standing in front of Secane. So uh, during the uh, early growing season, this has a really distinct uh, yellow uh, tinge to it. But obviously we're down in uh, uh, mid-October and so it's, it's lost that. So what we're looking at right here, if you can see uh, all of these small structures that are held out towards the tips of the branches, these are the male cones that are going to be produced. Uh, and the female cones are sort of mace-like, spiny, uh, little um, uh, globose, woody uh, cones. Another common feature that you do see in Cryptomeria japonica uh, is a lot of this dieback. So this is not uncommon to see on many, many different cultivars. And um, it can be due to different um, uh, fungal pathogens or uh, bacterial pathogens. So something to keep in mind. But uh, Cryptomeria japonica, oh, a wide range of cultivars, not just in uh, leaf shape uh, and size, but also in overall growth. So there's everything from the very dwarf uh, mushroom up to more standard heights like Secan, Yoshino, or uh, Radicans. So that is uh, Cryptomeria japonica.